Yeah, I've been making some new Pauls, uh, P-A-W-L, that's what they call these here. And I think I've finally come up with a good solution. I think I've made about eight of them. Uh, that's what happens in retirement, you get too much time. Anyway, we'll just have a look at this one and we'll show you the clearance. The tooth, you wouldn't grind the tooth back anymore because it's right at the triangle and we're getting over a mill clearance. So we'll just see whether you can see. We've got this drill here and this drill shank is 732 or 5.5 millimetres and you can see the clearance there. It's just over a millimetre, about a millimetre clearance. Something like that there, which is fantastic. Because that tooth, if we just take this, uh, and the other thing is interesting, where I've got the blue dot, that's where it touches the top of the tooth. So the top of the tooth rests where that blue dot is, which is up a lot higher. So that was that type one. And we'll put the original one on. Original one's slightly a little bit... Uh, less in length we'll just tighten that back up okay and if you clearly clearly see that it, it, the drill just hits that so we'll just make sure it's all pushed back home yep you can see you can see the difference it See that? So how it sticks out. So that's why you, I was talking about in the other video where you just grind the edge off. So that's on that one. And we made another one which was a little bit different. And the normal width of the pole is about 5 millimeters. So we made this one about 4 millimeters in length. Okay, now this one here, we'll just, this one here has clearance as well, not as good, you can just see that little bit of clearance there, it's probably got about a half a millimetre clearance, I'll just make sure that's pushed home. Sometimes they don't sit perfectly, but you can see that's got a bit of clearance there. That one's not too bad either, so, yeah. And this was the, uh, well, we've got another one. This one here is a little, little bit different. It's being ground down to about four millimeters with a slightly different length so I've made them all different lengths just to see whether they having different lengths means that they come in on on different angles and this one here hasn't got as good clearance as well and let's make sure that it, that is sitting properly and no, that's not pushed in properly So, you know, if I can, if I can come up with a much better pull, it's a wonder that still couldn't. Now, this one here has a little bit of clearance too, but it's not, there's not much in it. There it is there. You, I think you can just see that. It's, it's probably over half a millimetre, so you can get away with this one as well. And you can see the difference in this one. It's been ground from five millimeters. I think it's about four point three. Uh, this this part here, four point three millimeters here, whereas this part's five millimeters. So the clear winner is definitely this one here. It's been ground down from five millimeters, so that's five millimeters there. About four point two mil in width and now the other thing is you'll notice you've got the little radius on the bottom and what that is really great for 
that it goes over the drive link bumps much, much better. So we'll just check that one again. There it is, sitting there. We'll bring that around. And you should be able to see that that has a better clearance. I think you can see that. So now the other thing is when we're talking about that clearance, that clearance is at 25 degrees. At 35 degrees, that clearance is just about touching. Yeah, it's it's just about touching, but I don't use 35 degrees. I only use 25 degrees. So 30 degrees, I will be coming very, very close. 35 degrees, uh, I'll be touching, I'd say. So if you were to put the original one on, which is this one here, so this is the original one, there's no hope that this will ever do 30 degrees, let alone 35 degrees. It just won't do, do it because it's... Uh, so I don't know what still expect you to do. Now, the other thing is, as you can see, the other thing is, if you look clearly, you can see that the tooth is on a slight taper, meaning that the point of contact is over this side, not this side. So having this five millimeters in width is absolutely useless because if you look here, you'll clearly see that having it five millimeters wide serves no purpose because it's it's only touching on the far side. Now all chains are different. If I put another chain on there, it's liable to sit in a different position. But clearly you don't need it to be five millimeters wide. Four point anywhere from four point one to four point three is pretty good. And that's what I've made mine around the 4.3. So the left side seems to be slightly worse than the right side. We can check the right side just to see what it's like for clearance. So we'll put a right tooth on. So there's a right tooth. And we'll get the drill again. It's a little bit hard to see on that side. Yeah, I'm having, yeah. I don't know whether you can see that. That's a little bit hard to see on that side, but it clears. Yeah, maybe you can see it on this side. Hang on, we'll see whether you can see it. Yeah, let's see whether we can get that. You see the clearance, there's a clearance there. Hang on, we'll just hold, get that, yeah, that's it there. About the same, it's, a, it's, it's about a, roughly about a millimetre clearance there. Uh, about a millimetre clearance. So, now for those that may be thinking of making one of these, uh, it is identical virtually to this one here. If you look at the length, the only difference is if we line the holes up, you'll notice that it's almost the same length. Hang on. There it is there. So it's, virt it's virtually the same length except that it's square and it has a slight radius on the bottom, as you can see. And that'll give you a clearance. Now, I've made that many of them. <laughs> Have a look. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I've made ten of them. Where's the original? There's the original there. No, sorry, that's the original. So... I've made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've made nine. So after making nine, my best design is this one. It gives the most clearance. And I don't think you can 
really get an improvement. The only other thing that I will say about having the radius on the bottom also is that it glides over some of the other rawls and even this one. I'll just see whether you can see it. Sometimes gets a little bit stuck. I'll see whether I could demonstrate that. They, This one's not too bad, but sometimes they can get stuck on the drive link. As it travels over, the drive link, you can see, protrudes up past the tie bar. In this case, it lifts up, but on some of the others that I've made. So that's why you need to have that little bit of a radius on there. You can see the radius. This is the original one. And you see that radius, it's on there. That radius is on there so that it glides over the top of the drive link. And when you've got something like this and you'll also notice that blue dot means that's the point of contact with the tooth and as you can see that there's a big difference in the height so the point of contact up is right up the top here whereas it's because they sit at different angles and that's the thing by making them shorter and longer lengths and this this one here being the shortest it's it sits at a totally different angle. I'll just sit it on top. You'll see the difference. That's the difference there. They roughly, you see the blue dots. That means that they roughly both touch in, in the same, uh, virtually touching the same spot. So th this one here is, is the second best. It's got a clearance of just over half a millimetre, whereas the and the original one's got no clearance. It touches. So you're going from about a half... You're going from touching to a half a millimetre to about a millimetre with this one. This one's got a good millimetre. So, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye for now.